through Baby Bay. Corey, and of course, oh, no, Moth is around the corner by three as down. well. There goes the first kill, but it's in favor of Baby Bay, and they can't get through the choke point here. It's looking very hard for Sentinels. And the follow ups are good from Bay so far. Holding on to things, not allowing candy. a single player through the front door of the A side. The Nano Swarm, it will get taken down. He's created some space for his teammates. Back able with the Nano Swarm to take down six, so they're not able, Sentinels, to gain the ground that they're looking for towards the site. Still a defense here on the site itself, and it's looking quite desperate. <laughs> it's like Jack's gonna go draw some fire there. And with all of that said, a couple kills will go the way of the Appa, which does create an opportunity here for Sentinels. They've got 50 seconds, but they don't have trouble for the Sentinel squad. Last player standing. Oh, oh, oh. Using the first pick, and there we go. The dash shenanigans from Baby Bay to finish off. Good info, and not giving full respect, I think, to Sentinels for peeking openly in catwalk like this. I know exactly. And that is important. Baby Bay has also now made his way to catwalk. They want to push mid. And they really lost the player. The wow, spike's getting Eden. planted. Spike planted. And looking very lethal yeah. from this position. Looking for that perfect time. He finds the one. There's the dash. Looking for the second as well. The cloud burst. The pressure's coming through. The spray's good for Baby Bay. And now it's just going to be two players left. Four phase for this retake. Now comes the Sheriff. Tens is showing that he has that flare as well. And that Nano Swarm is going to split them up. And as you say, no dash past that Nano Swarm to help the team. It's going to slow them down even more. And they've got 10 seconds to get the spike planted. As their defense backside, Raucus connects the first bullets. And it's just looking worse and worse here for Sentinels. They have to force the issue. There goes the paranoia. Raucus and Zack at the back of the site. Doing the damage for another. Looks like FaZe is going to give it to him. I want to point out Zack's B holds have been phenomenal. That time, Sif ulted his. Oh my god, Dave, baby. Updrafting over the Dark Hover spawn, taking him out. What? Yeah. Takes out the star player, tens. Oh, but I was, I was saying Zachary's Molotov actually took out six body after the run it back. It was insane. He, his B hold was phenomenal. And I think Centrals is now scared of the B side after these two rounds. Oh, no, Sean. But the, they got a two-man set up on Wine. They can play no the bait way. here. And no. it's going to absolutely crush this. This is the unbeatable. The spike is there as well. This is oh, an insane oh, no. setup. And Marv just kills them both anyway. Hey. He One enemy He's just going to kill everybody, Marv! What is happening right now? Tori finally announces his presence, but it wasn't as though Marv didn't just base Run it back. You want to send it. Hey, though. Oh, 10. Oh, no. Not a single kill there for FaZe. They look very close to taking down 10s, as you say, but that's going to be the side there for Sentinels just going for a very fast maneuver. It seems to be the change of pace that they needed, but they do have to hold this retake against FaZe. So the jump, but maybe FaZe somehow peaks one, gets it. FaZe, though, is there for 10. He's going to try to finish it off, but he's going to go down there and... Another chance here. Baby base selecting the Phantom over the operator now. We'll get base dropping the lockdown. But Zach doesn't have anybody else here to help him with this one. He's gonna pick up another kill here. I don't even understand how they so much down, damage done. Dropping down. What can he do here? The one v one against storms, but not going to Forward, to run. Yeah, working that mid angle, baby bay might be able to get a connection. There we go. He does find it. And his full backs behind the dark cover. Had to use his dash though, but still. Not the same for advantage. For Shaz has read it out. Oh my goodness. We've said in That's the past, not Mark great. has been using this this alt dance so aggressively. Shazam, the in-game leader for Central, super aware. He's now on the Look plank at Corey's of Corey. position though. I don't think he's ever expecting Corey to because I think Corey was able to get yeah. past the trip, and they had no idea. And so he's going to be able to trade that one back for FaZe. And now this mid-round looks really weird. We do have Sentinels in the A site. They're available to get that plot behind the generator. But players are dispersed all over the place. They're coming in through towards Tree. Rafter's control is not there just yet. And Corey, you can see he was looking for the luck. So Dapper has held this tiles flank the whole time. So Dapper is aware that Corey must be A main right now. He is aware that that has to be the case based on the fact that he's tiles. But he's not even in the play. This is a two on four in the site, Dan. This is going to be very difficult here for Sentinels to try to hold this one without Dapper's assistance. As you say, Corey's waiting for a timing and A main to collapse onto this one to make it perfect for phase as they start to go for the retake efforts. Oh, pulling out the top cover. It's going to work out. Unable to trade for his teammate and everybody's going to get wiped out. And oh, okay. They're not in time for the defuse. Oh, no. It's just unreal. 
it doesn't oh, stop. He's, he's just owning them, Dan. Definitely. Got to be careful about these. And that's also what it's about for Baby Bane. Stealing fear. He does get traded. And tens. The Jets are indeed creating so much impact. This time, though, it's tens who looks like he could make the difference. The round winning difference. He's able to secure those entries. He's managed to get his team onto the site. But we can't come in from Zombs. Oh, nice lineups. Able to punish Tens sitting on top of the gen. He's going to fall off and reposition. But we can't take anything for granted here. Base have been really strong in these retake scenarios. Renny goes down to try to clear some space around hell. Look for the moment to strike. I don't know if there's a recon available for a while. And working towards that tree position now where Shazam is by himself. So Shazam is important in this position. He goes down. He doesn't do any damage. Time is a really big problem here, and Faze are going to have to force the issue into the site for this retake. A couple players left now as Corey takes down Tens, but there's no time for oh. The lineup for Dap is good. He sprays him down, and Sentinels once again on A finish the round, and they're coming back here. Four to five. Wow, I think even with those two amazing two wars of market, some good damage. He's down to 15 HP, there goes the rocket, and he's in a catch stick, finishes him off. And now there's pressure on Sentinels. They've got to gain ground. They go for the attack in B main. The trade is through. It's good for Sentinels, but there is Zach holding it down outside market. And now it's down to Shazam. He's got time to try to work this position. They don't know precisely where he is. Looking for that first 1v1. Corey seems to be trained on his position. This will be very difficult for Shazam. Looks like he's coming in with a disadvantage unless. The timing is favorable, and maybe it is now. He's held long enough. The recon's coming Rotation. on deck, He's waited long enough for his recon to come in. He's put the seed of doubt in FaZe's mind. He could be anywhere left. on the map now. He's waited long enough, and you can see FaZe is repositioning. I love how FaZe is playing this. They're sticking together. The in-game leader for Sentinels has a lot to do if he wants the spike. I have the spike. Able to grab that one. Can he fade back in a way? He's going to have to take this fight. Marv. Laser precision, as you would expect from him. Able to finish off Shazam. Everybody hiding from the drones right now. Is Dan. No oh, way! No. Oh no, he's going to go for that. Oh, no, he just exactly. takes the fight straight away. It's a one for one. It's not the worst case ever. There for Corey, but you got to keep up this team. The Sentinels, they know they have to move in on the, the timing. There is a window, but maybe not because Faze is actually in the side already. And they're doing a lot of damage. Baby Bay up top, able to dash away. Gets the reset. Two versus two now. And there it is, Defender Killjoy, the lockdown's place that's going to block any plant of the spike. But there's a lot of time here. Another reset is here now for Sean. Uh, Sean. There's a minute to go for Sentinels to figure out what they should be doing. Yeah, that lockdown, you cannot stay in the site and plant the spike right there. So you can see they're reeling back to the B site. They also saw the turret come out heaven. So not much utility left on this B site. And Sentinels knows that. They're trying to beat Zach here. It looks like there might be time as well. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. And that's going to split up Shazam from being able to be on site with Zombs. He can't really cross this now easily. And the recon will come in soon. So Shazam might have to wait and play for that if he can. But they are separated because of those nano swarms. And that might make a huge difference. But this Cowburst might present an opportunity. In fact, it's going to have to be now. I don't know what well, now they know where Shazam is. All right, we'll be alerting position. Oh, there is the recon trying to use that low bank disc. Shazam able to take down one, but... Zach able to get the trade. Oh, no, no. Another no, very no, close no, round. No, what does that do to safe. you, Dan? What does that do to you if you're on attack? You think this man's in the middle of mid right now? You have to use so much utility to clear this out now. You're terrified. He's being so annoying. He is really so very annoying. The smoke coming through from Marv. That's going to smoke off B main. Oh, the pick down, from Marv. And Sen Sentinels right now are stuck. They're frozen in place. In time and space, because Marv and Baby Bay Jump's are creating over. so much pressure. And Marv is not going to stop. He doesn't ever need help. He's just too damn good. And maybe Dapper can present the chance to jiggle. Look at that. The dance moves there from Dapper to take left. down Marv. That's what it does take. Something a little bit special. And Dapper's got... He's got that in space. He takes remaining. down one more player, but he's alone now. And this round has just fallen into set up four sentinels on the defense there to try to defend this. There goes the hot hands to split the players up. Oh. Baby Bay gets caught by the frenzy. Zom's gonna go down, I think. Does get critted out. Sentinels doing a great job. Ten. Look at him. The sniper from distance with that ghost. 
Yeah, this is very desperate. I mean, look at the gun differential here on this round already. The time is in a 5 on 4. 5 on 3. Baby Bay continues his form. Just opening up rounds time and time again for this phase squad. Not really a good timing here on this flank for Shazam. He's missed a boat on that one. The 3v5 retake with the Spectres. It's, it's going to be rough, but they'll try to get some damage in and then just work it from there. See if there's any place to be made to get that spike defused. Only just now being planted. Everybody on the side here for phase on this defense. The trade game is absolutely in favor of them. The Sentinels look to try to get their first swing. There goes the alarm bot. He's going to give the game away. It makes it easy for Baby Bay. There's that dash again. No fear at all. He wants to just condition them. Gary, you know that his dash is gone, though. He has the Blaze Storm available as well. The site's given up in favor of just going for a retake here. Yeah, this next kill is going to be super important for the retake. I, you have to side phase the 5 versus 5 retake gun advantage. But there's actually, there's only two players kind of on the site. And so that might be a problem actually. If Shazam gets this kill, Whoa. there we go. There's, there's nobody to stop this. This waterfall coming in from Rafters. There's Dapper and oh no! Suddenly FaZe are in massive trouble. They had so many players tree and catwalk and they are totally out position. One enemy and remaining. now it's just it's just the case of sticking, sticking the plot, sticking the defuse that is, and Sentinels are gonna have plenty of time and just about plenty of time to get the defuse. So the daggers if Sick comes through this, he's in big trouble, Dan. Baby base looking for that reset! The kill on to tens is so important. A few more players to go here, and there is no fear from this man. He doesn't fear anything. He's just hungry for frags. That's all he cares about. He may have to wait a moment longer because he doesn't have to do more no, here. But as I waiting. say that, <laughs> as I say that, he just knows where to go, and Zoms is finally going to take him down. Bloodthirsty baby base took to rest. But there's a lot more to be done by the remainder of Sentinels, and they are unable to find the kills to get back into the site. Shazam's going to have to fall back with the Operator. Shot down. As he was being held there, able to take that one down. It's, it's uh, quite the gauntlet here for Shazam to survive. They're hunting down one bullet left in the Operator. Orcus is going to find him, denying the Operator. Oh, this you this looks brilliant, run. actually. We're able to get the kills around Catwalk and mid. Of course, they're going to have a free A site to go to. That's what they're looking to play for. Running the fake here with the lockdown on that B main position. But right now, Sentinels know what's going on. Sick has to turn around because of the jet dash Soms, great double from him Corey though that late look you were talking about Sean he's gonna have left. to run to collect the spike there is time to get the spike and there's even the time to go B if he wants to do it he has Zach on the other side of the map still so this is gonna be really tough because Zach cannot help him and Dapper knows he's got a timing here drop down and there's the punish remaining. and they'd have no idea where Zach is, is I don't Zach think Zach okay? has any idea where he is I think I Zach know. is <laughs> I think Zach he... might be out of the server right now, lagged out. Very I don't unlucky. Know. Yeah, he's uh... Oh, there we go, he's he back. He's back, he's back. He's back. Oh, that's very unfortunate for... But for the entry here, Corey. Nice high satchel. I'm terrified for Zombs right now. Oh my god! How is Tens alive after that rocket connected? The ground right next to him. How much more damage can he do as he creeps through the cloud Spike burst? Looking a. for the next fight, and he will get taken out for sick doing so much damage in the meantime, but it might not be enough here because the site's been conceded. The Sentinels will have to play that 2v3 retake. I'm not sure how far... Oh, the spike though! They've lost control of the spike oh, phase. No, Stuck! Left. And they're gonna have to force the issue. They don't no have time. Util. No util, no time. They just have to take fights. But that's is, what they love this, to do. Yes, yes. This is exactly where phase wants to be, actually. <laughs> First swing, Zach's in the mid. Great scoop from Baby Bait. The dash is used, the time is of the essence, Sick. Ten sick is playing the time game as well. This is really smart. Complete reset of position. That could, that element surprise, that doubt could give him the 1v1 Five he planted. needs to open this one up to make it doable. Very smart though from Phage, playing two players hell here. There's the 1v1. Now six position is known. That element of surprise advantage is gone. He's going to have to go and commit to this. He's low on bullets. He's got to be perfect from this point forward. Spraying through. There he really comes again. <laughs> Baby Bay, he just had enough. enough. He doesn't want to wait enough. around. Sick making some steps there. Marv can definitely hear that. Just as you said, maybe they will get a backside TP coming in from Marv. He's going to be able to pre-smoke spawn for his team. They want to make it through. 
the choke points. There's the paint shells to deny access from the spawn position as they exit the B main choke point. Zach finds Dapper, I think through the smoke actually. And now it's down to Shazam. Peeling off one player, unable to do more. Six trying to do what he can here, but he's really in a lot of trouble. Tens uh, finds his way through though to logs. And baby bay, he's going out forward, he's got the knives. But he will get taken down. Marved on this work. One enemy oh, finds one onto tens. And the stick, the stick is coming from sick, but does he have the time to hold this? He does! He manages to get it before Marv can... Tens looking for it. That's all he's going in! And he just finds Corey. So much information. Sick with the running back to be main. All of the extremities in this round dominated by Sentinels. Leaving Marv to go aggressive mid. He knows what that means. It should mean mid is free, but Dapper was there to defend. And with the aggression from Sentinels, it, it's, it's given them an insanely strong position. It doesn't look like there's a way back in the round from this point. I did not know you could dash past the boom bot like that, Dan. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning out here. These Smeegs. Oh my god, that was so insane from Tens. Combining with the paranoia, we're in a 5 on 2 and Baby Bay is approaching the A site. The jet battle continues. Are we going to see the jump knife in the face? That's what Tens is looking for, but Zoms might actually deny him there as he takes the initial engagements. It's not connecting. Baby Bay takes down Zoms. Simply too much on the defense, though. Look at the frags. It seems like FaZe has way more frags. But what matters is, you know, when Sentinels wins these grinded out rounds, it's kind of hurting FaZe's economy, and players from FaZe have to save. Sick, trying to find it against Baby Bay. He's still alive somehow. And they're forced back to the B site, but there goes the spike. It's going back to A. This is brilliant here from FaZe. They pull the rotation to B. They're reselling it. Oh, that's a huge kill from Dapper, though. That still keeps Sentinel's presence left alive on the sites. Tens running around with the Phantom, able to take down Corey. The spike is going to be planted, though. There's still a chance in this one for FaZe. Still a chance to force the overtime here. The Nano Swarm is missed by Zach. That's going to be very frustrating. Rock is here with an attempt to allow his teammates to wall bank through hell to the Rock's positions. Is there love for Zach here? No, there's no tags. Out of charges. So much tension now as he holds the flank. Finds Baby Bay. Two players in hell against four players. It feels impossible for them. The Rock has picked off the first kill. The spray comes through. Rockus needs to get two more to make this happen, but Zombs will shut him down. And Sentinels in the very last round of regular time this hit happens. Sentinels will have a full stack. Be down to Baby Bay to get some space created. Dom's holding it down though. Actually, Shazam is able to get the kill. So this is looking very problematic. Central, huge shutdown from them for the flawless. It's not looking likely right now. And the control here on this post one is looking terrible for FaZe. They have a lot to do. The Central starts to come in. The boom boss is going to find some damage. Ooh, the peak from Corey is fearless. Trace coming through here as this elbow position does prove to be problematic. Zoms is able to walk out. Nice flash from Zach. Zoms and three versus three. Now face starting to hold quite nicely. Sentinels, despite all of the... Oh, the breeze flash comes through. That makes the difference. Marv able to take down Dapper. I'm sure he's very happy about that. After not getting as much as he wants around that position. Now they have it to start with. Phase winning early on in the default. And Corey actually had to use his boom bot and paint shells, and 10 still has hookah control. So if if Faze goes back B, they have no drone. Rockus just used that drone at long B. They have no boom bot, and 10 is getting aggressive. This is what I said: no sentinels. It's very dangerous for Faze right now on this A hit. Oh my god! And he had the running there. Was that a bait? I'm not even sure right now. He got Find past him. Oh, he turns oh. around! That was the best bait! He has no idea how solid that was. Tens was going to change the round there for sure, and he looks away. That's stepping from Walkers. Look at these sites wide open. It's out of position, Sentinels having to be forced through the TP. That's how desperate they are to take that fight around the left. TP, and it's not going to work out. And it, it seems like it's... It seems like it's over now, Sean. You know, we saw the action around Showers, the early win from FaZe, the reaction from Sentinels to start pushing short B. And then, and then we saw, you know, Tennis just not... You don't have an alarm bot, you don't have a turret. 
you have to make sure that so no one's flanking. Hey, oh, Mark Francis. Sick with the flank walking down, down short A. That's, uh, that's what you're talking about again, oh, Sean. Just the lack of the Sentinel. It's going to have these oh, openings. The, the Rolling Thunder used to protect the spike. A lot of respect there from FaZe. They needed the spike down. And the four versus four post plant now. Spike planted. Everybody from Sentinels coming from spawn. Tens opens it up. Stunning to look kind of grim here, but again. Oh, tag. If Corey can hold on to U-Haul control, this could really make a huge difference in their, in their chances. A lot of util though to try to deal with this. Corey does not have much health. Paranoid goes out from showers. Corey is struggling to hold on to this. Trying to pre-fire these positions. Out comes the classic. Burning as much time as possible. It's really up to Marv at this point. He's going to get forced off the angle by Dapper. Corey tries to take the peep, but it's all on Marv now. It's all on Marv as he tries to win this next fight against Dapper. Dapper's so annoying. He goes for the swing wow. on the diffuser. This yeah, he's he's already had some huge moments. And there's another one. Big push coming through. Around short B, this fight though, it doesn't look like... <laughs> it doesn't look like the phase want to give this one up. Corey's going to get trapped though. Sick wins the battle. And that's a 4 versus 4, but Sick is quite low. Down to... Well, I say quite. He's on 7 HP. He's critically low. And phase start walking back towards A. There is a two-man defense here, including, you know, Zoms and Dapper. Dapper's going to deal with the drone. That's actually a huge pick. He's out showered, Dan. He's walking. Takes down one, though. That's marked out of the rounds. So it's great to be had. Baby Baby's going to find that one to make life a little bit easier. But they don't have u haul control at this point. You can see Dapper's got that cage. So difficult to deal with. Another cage in the same position. He set it up to hold on to u haul for as long as possible by himself. They can't really challenge this. They have to respect this. And now Dapper is going to get taken down. He held on for a long time. And the spike is still not down just yet. Six, seven points of health. Shazam takes control again through U-Haul for Sentinels. Walking his way through. He's playing perfect. And Fage, but they don't have much here. Keep for that aggression. Tens gets caught. Looking problematic. Nice. Pounce from Phase. They are looking very good here. And I mean, that's the jet special. You might kill the jet, but you're not going to be able to hold it down afterwards. And Spike can be collected. Three versus two. The A side's been completely compromised here. Sentinels, you can't, you know, can't count them up. The Hunter's Fury is available for Shazam. He's in the perfect spot to use it to. This spawn rotate location. Oh, there it is. No. Oh my god. Faze are getting ruined by this. Zack now in the 1v1, though. Ooh, he's got a minute to go, so even though disaster struck, still has lots to work with. He's just going to go straight for the plant. No TP shenanigans from him. He's got the rolling thunder. There's a possibility he's able to delay for a long time that that fault line could come back, but the rolling thunder will get Shazam off the, the stick. Yeah. So this is a problem. Shazam has to go for the tab. He needs to try to bait out this rolling thunder. Zach's playing this perfect, Dan. And like you mentioned, the Rolling Thunder will hit Shazam off the spike. Oh. Shazam gets hit! That's going to kill a lot of time here. All lines ready, and Zach doesn't care. Straight out there. Take down Shazam and lock in the round. Access here. Maybe Bay very cautious around the one way. I'll cover into spawn. That might tell Sentinels everything they need to know. There goes the paranoia in response. Hori, though, with that elevated position, dodges the paranoia, opens it up. But still, you also under control, but not for much longer. Baby Bay wraps his way around, and he's in the smoke. Of course he is. But he's so careful. Dapper jumping through somehow wins that battle. Three versus three. As the spike is ticking away, Sentinels start to march forward together. In a coordinated effort to try to find these post plant positions. That spike is the out there in the open. Shines, Dan. This is where the Empress shines, these three on threes. Or he might work his way around to Uhoi. He could actually find a good timing onto the flank. Mars is going to go down. It's up to Corey. Takes down one. Can he find the remainder here? The tap's coming. coming off the spike now. Tense is forced off of it. Oh, there comes the paint shells and the spray. Is it going to be enough to delay? Lee Bacon. And the retake effort from Sentinels is, despite them having the man advantage, is not guaranteed. 
Ooh, good pain shells coming through. That's that's nothing that Corey can do there. Checkmate for him. Three players left now on the defense. Essential oh, stuff sprint the forwards. The neural death. So little to work with now for FaZe. And they are going to have nothing to say about this round after all is said and done. And that's eight at the end of the first half. Sentinels up eight against FaZe on four. And this, of course... Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit more aggressive. He's down long beaten. Six takes him out. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about. The breach flash with the jet dash is just magnificent. I think the... Uh, Teams in Asia, of course, showing us those kinds of things very early on in Bind. Very scary indeed. And Sentinels, they will, of course, be able to defend that. And they've got themselves this 5v2. It's a free bombsite. It's, it's, uh, this bombsite's looking like the scenes that you'd see in a post up. You're looking to get some money from, from those kills as well. Sentinels seems so disciplined. It's surprising given the pace that this game has, has gone on. And there they go, they're gonna storm spawn, take out rockets, not let him live. Sentinels will get the spike planted on truck though. <laughs> it's hilarious because Baby Bay is so good at showing the value of Jet, right? There's no way Tapper's getting more than one kill there. There's just no way. Incredible spacing created by Baby Bay. Yeah, and it's it's gonna be very difficult to find any more edges here. The face. Gonna use their ability, so the fault line, the paranoia comes through to you all. Got that bulldog as well. There comes the breach flash straight in your face, inside your head. Still though, looking like a pretty good defense coming through from Sentinels. Some good trades though. I think it's down to a one versus two. Maybe we get some extra. Nope. We'll be these arms is looking for a peek there. They don't know exactly if everyone rotated off the side or not. So that's for Corey. He's gonna be able to maybe get a free one out of this. There comes the push coming from Ed. Dapper is activated on the flank, but Baby Bay is holding it, Dan. This is chaos. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better. The, the chaos is really difficult to deal with. The paranoia goes through to allow players to come out of spawn, but here comes the flank. The timing from Dapper in the back with the ghost. Gonna not even necessarily be all that impactful here because he's his teammates are all gone. He's able to pick up the phantom, but can he get the straight through? He might have to be that because it's getting stuck right now. He's gonna find his way through to the frag. He's trying to find it, but baby. Here comes Spike planted. Uh, oh no, no, no. Okay, so Spike's in the site. They're just going with a triple long setup. Like you said, baby is on a really late flank. I don't think Dapper's gonna be aware of this. Dapper's he's going for his job is the flank, but ABBA is coming from a very unexpected That's angle. And Faze is gonna wait a little bit for him. They're buying as much time as possible. Paranoia through. Shazam though. Oh, he's gonna get completely destroyed. There's the showstopper from Stick. He whips! Big opportunity now for base. There goes Baby Bay. He comes in. Perfect timing. There's the updrop. Tense defense. And he's gonna be able to dismiss the way Rock is trying to take him down. He gets it. And that's a wrap for the wrap. Face trying to hold on to it. Sprayed a little bit through it. Oh, there comes the they're rolling. All getting hit, Dan. Oh no. Oh no. Very bad. And sick. Swing though, he's able to defend his teammates for just long enough to just allow them to come off that so cooldown. And FaZe are striking back though. It resets into a 2v2 through the TP they go in towards the A side. FaZe have a very good chance of winning this though. Baby Bay on the operator. He doesn't have the dash left. The fault line is available. Tens has two orbs to dismiss if he needs. The paranoia is good as well. A lot of util for both sides to work with. Full cloud burst as well. He's looking for that aggressive frag. He finds it. There's a dismiss. And this has to be something special now from Baby Bay. One versus two. A discipline from these Sentinels players. Not going to allow a peek. Nothing for free for Baby Bay. To so spray through the smoke. Creating some presence. He's looking for the second player though. Tries to find the frag is so hard. It's getting harder and harder as time goes on. Baby Bay picks up the first frag, but it would have to be tense. Now giving him a jewel. Will he give it to him? He does, but there's no time anyway. Very well played by Sentinel. So play two passively on A. And they're reading this B. It does patient hurt. Three players, the firing squad there, lining up around Hooker. Out goes the showstopper. Not going to find his target. They may Ooh. think this position's clear now. Uh -oh. This could be problematic. Corey able to take down one. Just now trying to jiggle, trying to buy time. Using the showstopper, sending it, Garden! Doesn't connect! But Tens will connect with him. Corey's down and out. Zachary, though, with the breach flash. 
causing problems. Trying to reset, but he's going to go down and it's Marv now. You talked about the operator. It comes out. The flick's good. But it's the 1v2. Spike's on sight. Look at Dapper it, go. Got it. This is very Shadows. difficult for Marv. Spike planted. No weapon, no rifle here to pick up. So he throws a smoke garden, which makes Sick have to step in front of it. Sick's in an off angle. Dapper's not even peeking spawn. So Marv will be able to get out of this hallway. First opening, not gonna be found. Dapper's actually just gonna go for- And immediately Arena on the other team will throw a Leer in the air. And it seems like such a good counter. <laughs> I mean, you can't see anything. Here comes Zan clearing out. The A sights. Baby Bay comes through, Bucky in hand. Dapper's ready. Marv though makes the difference. Brown U-Haul finding one quick headshot. And behind the aftershock, Marv is gonna get more. He's holding things down here for face. 30 seconds left done just enough to make things a little scary here for sentinels but they're still ahead they're so slightly but they need to get the spike planted and they don't really feel safe to do so so it's a rotation through tp Corey into that B plan. he's on the rotate or if he has if he just waits for the lineup oh he's instead going to just toss him immediately and that allows him to get back side there we go oh. judge comes into action swaps it out phantom in hand he knows they are both hooker. They know both players are defending from hooker. Dapper though takes remaining. down one. Dapper can't be stopped. He's absolutely on fire this game. Might not even need to dash it. Actually, just uses the cloud burst. There goes the plan. They're playing for B. Corey's on. Corey's Ooh. actually gonna opt to not big flank. And Zach takes out Kens with the aftershock. Right there. That's a massive find. He couldn't dash away. Oh, and the fall line over towards the box under window that's huge two players are stuck in that position and now they're going to get the spike at least halfway i think in fact i think walkers came off of it but sentinels are defending so they are so good and the frags are just not being bounded by phase although raucous in the one versus two these players are weak but he has to be perfect upon the peaks but he's not getting given anything here to work with Oof. it's just too difficult at this point from the sentinels players I thought that FaZe had that in the back. They know he's stuck Cubby. But there is a lot of players protecting him. One enemy remaining. A couple players going down here now. Zach for three going down. Once again, Sean, you know, I feel like FaZe did a great job in how much damage they were able to get out of the rounds, given that they had no he said, popped it instantly. And there goes Ken. Great pick onto Zach. Still backside control for FaZe, but how long can they hold it? Baby Bay goes down. Corey goes down. Backside is lost. And now the plant can be had onto C, and it seems like it might just be done and dusted here in this round of phase. You all spurned by Sentinels. That's a great effect. Man, I love that this is how this, this match is playing out, Dan, because, you know, it, it just shows how important these orbs are in how the game is currently set up, right? You win the pistol, you get a couple eco kills, if your phoenix is farming the orbs, he'll have his ult. Oh yeah, they, they're really challenging this one. They're trying to punish, and oh, baby's gonna pick up the knives. He's gonna take down Dapper. Dash is away. And there might be some problems here. Corey would be really good. If Corey could get one somehow, he has the spikes are in, a, in quite a problem. Oh, he does have the spike. And indeed, it might be quite problematic, but the lurk there from spawn should surely catch Corey, but he's out of there, actually. Why collected? So slippery. Baby base down, so it does fall to Corey now. If they rotate through to his position, he might be able to do something here to get face back into the rounds. Plus one. Got to connect the head shot, but it's just not happening. That was the chance. You got to be perfect. And it doesn't happen there. Zach able to pick up a weapon, but he. I just love how they're thinking so far, but they have to win the battles. Zach, I think he got caught off guard there. Like I know it exactly. wasn't quite ready. Baby Bay. Also, I mean, it's just insane. The presence of mind, the cognizance from Tens. And just like that, it's a three versus five. You'll probably make that a two versus five. Oof. The dapper oh. doing what he does best, just sliming around the map, just <laughs> all by himself, picking off that third player, securing the rounds. I, th I thought it was, I really wanted to see FaZe get rewarded too, because they, they've conditioned, I mean, I feel like they would have anybody conditioned. Well, hang on. 
I'm going to hold that ball right there because Mark's going to pick up a couple kills. There's a lot of time on the spike still. The face to be able to pull this one off. The one in the smoke, that's sick. Well, all the chances. Fury will be used by Shazam to try to counter all of this. And in fact, Raucus is going to go down before I think that he can, he can even do anything. And Dap is holding on to C window. And it's a two versus. In so doing, they're prevented. Sensors are prevented from gaining space onto the site. But looks at that point. One on four. Oh my god, he somehow lives. That's insane. And there goes the TP from Zoms to try to punish. Knowing that they've rotated out of position, Zoms is in a key location now, denying that control. He can represent flanks left. from that position as well. So much to worry about in your face. And there goes the pick from Zoms. Baby bait in the action, though. Unable to find what he's looking for on that next go of it. As now they try to clear heaven. They've got to understand, is Marv still up in that? Or rather, sorry, is Zoms up in that position still? Baby Bay goes close. Oh no, what? I think they just walked past each other in the smoke, Sean. Oh no, that's okay. He dropped out of the window. That's my mistake. As it looks like the coordination is going to come through here. Bays, they're looking for something. Baby Bay's looking for something, but it goes to 10. Baby Bay. He would have taken out one more. Another from Baby Bay. But the problem is, is that there's no time. There's two players remaining. He can't do it all by himself. Trading out his teammates with the operator. There's only so much one man can do in this position. And FaZe are still staring at a big old donut on the scoreboard, Sean. Yeah, there's nothing... I mean, you're setting the scene perfectly, Dan, because there's nothing Baby Bacon and Marv will all be in the side. Great opening pick there from Baby Bay as they try... Sensors desperately try to get in this side, but now they might have to call a reset in the board because... They are going to struggle to get through these choke points, using their utility to try to do it, but very difficult. Maybe they flying around, soaring through the site, and in the air, he'll try to get it done, but he's just going to him out the sky like a clay pigeon. The trade is good, and, and this is one of those few, maybe the only round, I feel like, have to adjust. Rock, Rock is able to get the shots out there, anticipates the fallback from Sig, punishes and phase. They're taking the fight straight to Sentinels, and Sentinels are struggling to stay alive. It's just Zoms. And it is quite the brawl, but FaZe making Sentinel dance to their tune. And Sag, he gets the wall. Or Dapper, move out of the cage, lurking, as he way. does. Sentinels uh, have the opening picks, though, as they win battles across the map. And this is very confusing. It's I once again exactly up to the individuals. The neural death comes through, baby. He wants to punish, trying to find Dapper. Where is he going? He's going to find all the just Dapper. Standing. Takes down tens. Giving Raucus maybe something to work with, but he's being waited for by Sick. Sick is not gonna miss those. Ten. Love to see the shorty on the chat. There's the dash, the updraft. Oh, and he absolutely nails Sick. And that's the way you want to start it. Marv does go down in the meantime, though, on seed long. And Sentinels have backside under control. That's Dapper's job. Hold on to backside. And he's doing a damn fine job. Turning away from the breach flash, but will get punished. Zoms creeps around the side. They don't know about it. But Raucus is going to be able to defend. The reaction is good from FaZe as they take the pistol. All his curveball's gone. Has the hot hands. We had to lay a plant. Oh, waiting for that catch. And it's down to baby base position, as you said, Sean. He's managed to get his way over the trip into that sea site. He's got to win the battle oh, against okay, Dapper. Oh, dashing into the trip. That's might actually be beneficial. That trip has now gone. Dapper playing the smoke with Baby Bay and Baby Bay's damn good. But Dapper also so good in those scenarios around those smokes. Shazam with the creep out mid. LB finds Zack. And that just leaves now one to challenge him. Raucus will find it. Very little time to plant the spike now as he tries to charge forward. Doesn't really have time to go to the A site, but he might have to. Going to opt to go for the stick there, and it's just no time. There's so much. Exactly. He picks up that rifle, and everything changes. The challenge earlier from Zombs on the run it back. That's right. Oh, they're coming short. Looking to go big on this A site. Corey pops to run it back there. The shot guard actually takes it down. There goes the breach flash. Sick as they would maintain position. There goes Baby Bay out of nowhere. On top of the crazy and flying the flank. It's looking really, really bad and desperate again. Although FaZe able to find some of those return frags to get it into an even scenario. 2v2, but 10s. Now find themselves down 8. He said it. 10s activated on that flank. He's had so much success. So much success as the stand-in for Sentinels. They are so close to D here coming through for 
Sentinels on the defense. Baby Bait pops the Blade Storm. Dapper is dealing with Corey straight away. Walk is able to punish the play through a lobby, so that's going to open up the A side of the map. But Shazam, he's going aggressive. You wouldn't expect this. You would never expect that from Shazam. He takes down Raucus, who was hoping that the site would be for free. Why would there be somebody there? And now FaZe in a terrible position. Zach and Marv against four to try to save FaZe's chances in this grand finals. As Dapak tags Zach even more. It's looking so bad. They know where Marv is as well. And Sentinels start to circle. They start to enclose around the phase players. They smell blood. It's in the water. And they want to finish it off. And Tens is looking to do it in style. Marv, 2 HP left. Here comes a dagger with his name on it. But it's going to be sick. Who's going to get it done? And that's a wrap.